सो दिस द वेरी वेरी कॉमन प्रॉब्लम ये बहुत ही कॉमन प्रॉब्लम है कि लोग इनडाइजेशन के शिकार हैं पीपल आर सफरिंग विद इनडाइजेशन सो देर आर टू वेरी फेमस फॉर्मूलाज वन इज ओल्ड टेन निडल फॉर्मूला and one is a new updated formula both formulas are really very good and we will discuss today right so let's start with few basic thing about the stomach first so when we are eating the food food is going in the mouth खाना हम खाते हैं तो सबसे पहले खाना हमारे मुख में जाता है माउथ में जाता है सो फ्रॉम द माउथ दिस फूड इज पासिंग इन द फूड पाइप वी कैन सी दिस द फूड पाइप और द इसोफेगस खाना फिर इसोफेगस में जाता है सो द डाइजेशन ऑफ फूड स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द माउथ इट हमारे मुख में ही खाने का पाचन चालू हो जाता है बिकॉज देर इज सेलाइवा इन द सेलाइवा देर इज सेलेवरी एंजाइम्स सो इन द सेलाइवा देर आर सेलेवरी एंजाइम्स लाइक द टाइल इन Responsible for digestion of carbohydrate. हमारे salivary gland से निकलने वाले hormone जैसे कि टाइलिन कार्बोहाइड्रेट का पाचन करते हैं इसीलिए खाना चबा कर खाना चाहिए दैट्स वाई बी शुड मेस्टिगेट द फूड वेरी प्रॉपरली देन फूड इज गोइंग थ्रू द फूड पाइप थ्रू द इसोफेगस देन फूड इज कमिंग इन द स्टमक वी कैन सी दिस द स्टमक so how the stomach look like see it is like a bag right so this is the upper part of the stomach we can see and the lower part of the stomach this is the like a bag right stomach ek bag ki tarah hai and if you see the stomach before the stomach there is the food pipe we know this is the food pipe before the stomach and after the stomach we are having a small intestine right so i would like to show you here first see the stomach so when the food pipe or the esophagus coming and meeting with the stomach so this is the esophagus it's written here or the food pipe then here there is a gate there is a very tightly closed gate that gate is called cardiac sphincter the name of this gate is cardiac sphincter is gate ka naam cardiac sphincter hai and this gate is always tightly closed so food can come downward but the acid or the hydrochloric acid available in the stomach will not go upward because this door is always tightly closed this cardiac sphincter is always tightly closed so there is only one way traffic one way road keval ek taraf hi khana jaane ka rasta hai niche ki or kyunki door band rehta hai khana niche aata hai to door khul jata hai when the food is coming downward this door is open but sometimes we see person is suffering with the acidity then this acid is giving too much pressure and even it is crossing this sphincter and the 
warning sensation coming in the food pipe. Sometimes this is the damage or the destruction of the door, the destruction of the cardiac sphincter. That time also the acid might go upward. कभी कभी इस डोर का डिस्ट्रक्शन हो जाता है डोर कमजोर पड़ जाता है और बहुत ज्यादा एसिडिटी होने पर जब किसी भी कारण बस एसिड ऊपर चढ़ता है तो एसिडिटी कहते हैं या जी ई आर डी गैस्ट्रो ईसो फेजियल रिफ्लक्स डिसऑर्डर सो वे द गैस्ट्रिक जूस कमिंग इन द ईसो फैगस normally it's not coming not happening but sometime it might happen it's create the acidity severe acidity warning sensation in the food pipe warning sensation in the chest cavity as well as in the stomach gerd then patient is taking antacid regularly to vyakti antacid ka sevan karta hai so if we see the stomach here so this part of the stomach is called cardia it's written here cardia then the upper most part of the stomach is called fundus and this main part is called the body of stomach body of stomach right then the lower part is called pylorus then the ending of stomach so when the stomach is ending again there is a very tightly closed door that is called pyloric sphincter the name of this is pyloric sphincter here pyloric sphincter so one door is here one door is here right so if you look at the human body suppose this is the human body so when you are eating the food the food is going in the mouth then food with the help of food pipe then it's reaching to the stomach then it's going in the small intestine the large intestine in this way food is traveling throughout the alimentary canal pure alimentary canal mein ye food hamara is tarah se travel karta hai that we know right so how to make this travel easy is smooth without hindrance without any problem how to make this travel free so as per the tcm there is a concept tcm a concept hai when you are eating the food suppose food is not going smoothly from the chest cavity press the pericardium six so pericardium six will send the food downward in the very easy way pericardium 6 is the very good point for the chest cavity it is the distal point of the chest cavity pericardium 6 also the empirical point for the acidity indigestion pericardium 6 is the very important point if someone is having some heaviness in the chest and food is not going downward and feeling some after eating the food food is stuck in the food pipe and out of the food pipe press the pericardium 6 pericardium 6 is the master point for this purpose then food is coming to the stomach so when the food is reaching to the stomach a food stomach tak pahuncha so first you put the pericardium 6 so in the stomach we can see this is the upper door of the stomach upper gate of stomach and we can see this is the middle gate or the middle part of the stomach inside the stomach middle part we can see when the food is going from fundus to body or from body to the pylorus this is the middle part of the stomach or we can tell middle gate middle gate right the meaning of middle gate when fundus to body and body to pylorus food is passing that is middle gate and when the food is leaving the stomach from the pylorus and reaching to the duodenum so this is called lower gate 
तो ये लोअर गेट क्या लाता है तो अपर गेट इफ यू प्रेस द सीवी थर्टी इट विल स्मूथ द अपर गेट फुल विल पास वेरी प्रॉपरली फ्रॉम यूर देन यू प्रेस द सीवी ट्वेल्व देन फूड विल पास वेरी प्रॉपरली फ्रॉम द मिडिल गेट एंड इफ यू प्रेस द सीवी टेन then food will pass very properly from the lower gate so cv13 is the upper gate cv12 is the middle gate cv10 is the lower gate okay cv30 cv12 and the cv10 upper middle and lower gate so food will pass very properly in a very smooth way khana bada achhi tarah se niche jayega smooth way mein jayega so we started our journey from the pericardium 6 then food came to the stomach then with the help of cv13 12 and 10 there is wonderful digestion happened and food is going in the next part then the next part then the next part the food came in the duodenum ab hamara khana duodenum mein aa gaya so pericardium 6 CB thirteen, CB twelve, CB six. Sorry, CB ten. Now food has reached to the duodenum. Now, food has reached to the duodenum. Now, food has reached to the duodenum. By stimulation of the four points. Now there is a turn of stomach twenty five. Stomach twenty five. We know the point. Stomach twenty five points available bilateral on the on the both side of the navel. So this is the navel. If you are going two chun lateral on the right side and two chun lateral from the left side, there is a location of the stomach twenty five. ये हमारा stomach twenty five. हमने कहा था three gates C B thirteen, C B twelve and C B ten are three gates. We can tell upper gate, middle gate and the lower gate. Now stomach twenty five is called टू स्ट्रीट दो गलियां इन दो गलियों की संख्या दी गई है क्या कहते हैं ये दो गलियां हैं टू स्ट्रीट एज पर द फ्रीक्वेंसी टू स्ट्रीट सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टिमुलेट टू स्ट्रीट्स नाउ सो नाउ देयर इज अ टर्न ऑफ स्टमक 25 they are called two streets what is the importance of these two streets as soon as you stimulate these two streets <clears throat> the food will travel from the duodenum will cross the whole street of the small intestine then will cross some part of the large intestine reaching in the first part of the colon <clears throat> that is called ascending colon ascending colon why stimulating the stomach 25 this food will be traveling whole its small intestine and reaching to the colon or the ascending colon so we will able to push the food toward the stomach 25 it's not only about the pushing it's also digesting everything in this route everything will happen very properly har cheez theek dhang se hogi is raste mein inhe kehte hain do galiyan ki khana hamare ascending कोलोन तक पहुंच गया लुक एट हियर सो फ्रॉम द स्टमक फूड बेंट टू द डिओडिनम स्टमक एंड द डिओडिनम देन आफ्टर द डिओडिनम इज आल्सो द पार्ट ऑफ इंटेस्टाइन दैट वी नो देन फूड ट्रैवल टू द रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑफ द स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन that is called jejunum and ileum then after that this food is reaching to the colon then food reach to colon so this is the colon right the first part of the colon the junction this is the junction of a small intestine and the large intestine and the first part of the colon that is called ascending colon food has reached here just by stomach 25 now we will stimulate cb6 point cb6 is wonderful point cb6 
it will raise the yang it will speed up the raising the food upward cv6 like cv6 like giving the accelerator raising the yang so as soon as you stimulate the cv6 here now food will be moving upward very properly in the ascending colon everything digestion absorption everything whatever required happening very properly aapne jaise cv6 lagaya to cv6 ka kaam hai cheezon ko upar uthana to ascending colon mein food dhang se upar ki aur uthega aur phalega and food will go in all the remaining part of the colon like the transverse colon we know after the ascending colon so this is the first part called ascending colon then the transverse colon then the descending colon so because of cv6 because of accelerator now food is moving throughout this part pericardium 6 will be pushing the food from chest and we have to put it bilateral so there are two points then cv13 and the cv12 and the cv10 these points are called upper gate pushing the food from the food pipe to the stomach then the middle gate traveling the food very properly in the stomach like from fundus to body body to pylorus then the lower gate then moving the food very properly from the pylorus to the duodenum now the food is out from the duodenum so these are the central points then after that food has reached to the duodenum hamara khana kahan pahunch gaya hamara khana duodenum mein pahunch gaya now we are going to stimulate stomach 25 because of the stomach 25 food will be traveling from duodenum to small intestine to the ascending colon so this is the bilateral so we have to focus on the stomach 25 and i already demonstrated the location of the stomach 25 then we have to put the cv6 point will raise the yang then food will be traveling very properly to the ascending colon then spreading all around the all over the colon and lastly we are going to put the point stomach 36 stomach 36 will push the food from colon to rectum and this is the bilateral so the 10 points is done pericardium 6 there are two points cv13 cv12 and cv10 there are the three points then stomach 25 bilateral there are the two points cv6 is the single point and finally stomach 36 two points so 2 3 2 1 2 how many total points these are called 10 needle formula old 10 needle formula so here i would like to bring a focus pericardium 6 is called two directors two directors they are the directors right cv13 cv12 and cv10 are called three gates three gates right then stomach 25 are called two streets so food is traveling from the duodenum to the ascending colon cv6 are very wonderful point it is called the point who is raising the chi accelerating the chi or raising the yang so this point is raising yang or this point is called 
g of c this point is called c of g right and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now finally stomach 36 is called these two point and the last point are called two drivers who are sending the food to the last part of the intestine elementary canal that is called rectum. Wonderful formula. Excellent formula. I will show you here. So whenever any person is having any type of the gastric pain, abdominal pain, vomiting, nausea, constipation, diarrhea, gastric ulcer, indigestion, in all these problems, this formula is going to work. This is called old and Ten needle formula CV10, CV12, CV, CV13, CV12, CV10, CV4. These four point will be in the central line. These four point will be in the central line. Mein honge. Stomach 36, stomach 25, and the pericardium 6. These point will be violet red. So these are the four point, and these are the six point together. They are 10 points, and they are really very wonderful. Right? And sequence, I already told you. Start the journey from the pericardium six. Then put the three gates. Then put the two street point stomach 25. Then raise the young by CV6. And finally, true driver point is stomach 36. Stomach 36 point is found in the legs that we know. The location of the stomach 36 will be here. Three chin below from the stomach 35, three chin below from the knee eye. So this is the wonderful explanation given in the treatise, right? Is it clear? Is it clear? Got it? Okay, so right in the chat box, first point we are going to put. What is the name of that? If you want to improve the digestion quickly. First point, pericardium 6. After the pericardium 6, which are the next three points? Quickly. After the pericardium 6. So now food has traveled to stomach. Now, now food has reached the duodenum. So from the duodenum, which points are called two street points? will take the food from duodenum to the ascending colon. Wonderful. Now who will raise the energy in the ascending colon? So food will travel throughout the ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon, in each and every part of the large intestinal colon. Which point? That is CV6, wonderful. And the, which is the last point, which is called driver point, will take the food to the rectum and the last part of the elementary canal. Stomach 36, wonderful, excellent. So this is an excellent formula. Useful for each and everything. So this is called old needle formula because after some time like today, there are many other points has been added. So it has become the new digestion formula. So we will also discuss that, right? Now, suppose one person is coming to you and telling any type of the digestive problems, but the hands and feet are cold. That is called cold stomach. So the formula of the cold stomach is exactly the same. There is no difference. Cold and deficient stomach. Because in the stomach, there might be two conditions. Number one, deficient condition. And we also will be discussing excessive condition shortly once we finish this deficient condition. So the formula is same, like we have taken the pericardium 6, we have taken the CV10, 12, 10, we have taken the stomach 25, CV6, stomach 36, all the points are given here. When the person is having cold and deficient stomach, it means person is having many digestive problems. There are too many digestive problems. Gas hogi and acidity ho sakti hai, constipation, loose motion, whatever the condition. But with that, 
the person tired all the time and the more uneasiness after passing the stool cold hand feet and the watery vomiting here i would like to bring your focus on one thing who is getting this problem in the ayurveda it has been told if the we are having more heat then we should do virachan karma means virachan karma means initiating the motion stool passing that is virachan karma with the help of stool we can we can expel the heat out but suppose some person is having too much stool too much diarrhea then person will become weak what's happening if the person is taking continuously medication the many are powders it's kind to it might be good for you if you take in the under the physician advice under the recommended dose as per the guidance as per the need but if the person is taking every day it's not only about one powder it's even the virachan powder sanaya churna in the ayurveda there are five medicine they are called panch sakar panch sakar means the five medicine is starting from sa so called panch sakar it's a very good medicine for digestion not the digestion for constipation but it's a very strong medicine we can take it sometime like once in a 15 days or one month but marketing company doing the marketing and even they are giving the name that you should take every day then what will happen they will expel all the heat out your intestinal flora will become weak because every day you are killing your intestinal bacteria you are killing your gut flora because of forceful purgation forceful motion you will be suffering with the cold and deficient stomach and after passing the stool even you will not able to get up from the toilet pot if it become very weak stool pass karne ke baad ki aisa lagega ki ab pot par baithe raho aur uthoge to kabhi chakkar aa jayenge so even if the person is not feeling this if the person is feeling die if the person is feeling tired and has after passing the stool it is a sign of weak and deficient stomach maybe person has abused the stomach too much us vyakti ne apne stomach ko bahut zyada abuse kiya hai solution nahi mila usse sahi right any medication whether the ayurveda medication or the allopathic medication in the ayurveda it's a, might be harmful if you are not taking in the right quantity right and if you are taking too much so the same formula we have to apply but we have to do moxivation but this is the difference we have to do moxivation only on all the points especially on the all the point means no need to do moxivation around pericardium 6 but we can do the moxivation on the point which is on the stomach we can see here so we can do the moxivation in the cv13 cv12 cv10 cv6 stomach 36 stomach 25 there are the wonderful point we do the moxivation here so look at in this image we can do the moxivation we can put the needle even we can put this point in the sujog we can do the tonification so this is the cv13 cv13 right if you see the cv13 point see with 13 point located at the location of upper gate of the stomach so when we are putting the cv 13 point it's working here right we can do the moxivation and needle then cv 12 cv 12 is working on the whole middle part of stomach in the future you will see stomach 21 is also the very good point who is directly coming on the stomach it's a wonderful point for stomach what i know we are not putting stomach 21 we are putting cv12 
for the middle part of the stomach, then we are coming to the CB10. CB10 is working on the lower part of the stomach. We can see it's coming on the lower part. And we can do the moxibation on these three, all the points. Then we are coming to the CB6 point. CB6 point is one of the great point who is raising the yang and very speedily who is removing the coldness, expelling the coldness. CB6 point is very good point. CB6 point is located 1.5 chin below from the navel. 1.5 chin is a great point. Let's see here. So this is the navel. From the navel, if you are going 1.5 chin down, that is the location of CB6. Now from the navel, navel is CB8, right? So go one chin up CB9, then again one chin up CB10. So CB10 is two chin up. Then one chin up CB11, one chin up CB12, CB12 again two chin up. And from the CB12, we are going one more chin up. That is the CB13. All the points one chun, one chun, one chun up. CB13, CB12, and CB10. So from the navel, we have to put one point which is two chun up. Another point again, again two chun up. And another point is one chun up from here, right? Three points. Now, we are coming on the both side of the navel that is stomach 25. Stomach 25 is the great point because stomach 25 also called alarm point of large intestine. So it's a taking the food till the large intestine. It's pushing the food from duodenum to the large intestine till the first part of the large intestine, which is called ascending colon. Stomach 25 comes in two galiyan, two street, two streets. And we can do the moxibation here. It's a wonderful for the cold stomach. If someone has taken too much medicine for the constipation, even by doing the moxibation, we can improve the constipation. And then we will be doing the moxibation and needling on or the magnets on the stomach 36, which is a very good point for digestion. Stomach 36 also called driver point, pushing the food till the rectum. And as per the TCM concept, also we know stomach 36 is the very good point for which is called lower hisi point of stomach. Jism stomach ka lower hisi point bhi kahate. It is called lower hisi point of stomach, right? Lower hisi point of stomach. Because it's a very good point for stomach organ. The meaning of HC points, they are working on the organ. In this way, we can add all the points and pericardium 6. We can just do the simple tonification by needling or by magnet. The point located on the wrist, two chun proximal from the wrist. Hamari kalai se do chun upar hota hai. In this way, the formula will remain same for the person having deficient stomach, right? Now we are moving ahead. Let's see here. So now able to, the new formula of the GIT. New formula of the GIT, this is a wonderful explanation given the tetrides. Even there are more formulas given, which we'll be discussing in the next class. And they are really great formulas for digestive disorders. In this new formula of the GIT, 10 points are same, which we have discussed, but there are some added point. Ki 10 point to wahi hai, unme koi change nahi hai, usme koi parivarta nahi hai, wo to hume baise ki baise lagana hai, usi tarah se lagana hai. Lekin kuch points hume aur add kar dena hai. Now we are adding this point and this point. Why we are adding these two points? Because stomach 37 and the stomach 39 is the wonderful point. Stomach 37 and 39. 
located in the lap. Look at here. From the knee, if we go, from the knee, if we go three chun down, stomach 36. Again, three chun down, stomach 37. Again, three chun down, stomach 39. Three points. Three points. Eight ke baad, eight, eight ke baad. Right. Three points in the line. So these three points are called lower EC point that we know. I have discussed many times, but because these points are very wonderful, I would like to discuss once again. So from the knee, if you look at the knee here, so from the knee, I if I go three chun down, stomach 36. Again, three chun down, stomach 37. And again, three chun down, stomach 39. All the point on the border of this bone. Stomach 36 working on the stomach. 37 working on the large intestine and 39 working on the small intestine. Stomach means stomach. Large intestine and the small intestine. So these are called the lower EC point, lower EC point, lower EC point. The lower EC point of the stomach, lower EC point of large intestine and lower EC point of the small intestine. With the help of these three points, we can improve entire digestive tract. Stomach 36 will improve the stomach. Then 37 will improve the large intestine, 39 will improve the small intestine. That's why we have taken these three points in the line. Okay, now, so this is the new 10 formula, new 10 needle form, the added points in the new 10 needle formula, even we have more points here. So we have added stomach 37 and stomach 39 because stomach 36 is already there. So this is called lower EC point of large intestine. And this is called lower EC point of small intestine. And this was already lower EC point of stomach. So two added points. Now look at here, few more points. Now stomach 44 and the 45, why? Stomach 44 and 45. Let's see here. So this is the stomach. Stomach is the earth element. And we know stomach 45, stomach 44, stomach 43, stomach 41, and stomach 36. They are the five element point. Stomach 36 is the earth. 45 will be the metal, there are the five element point, water, wood, and fire. So whenever we are suffering with any disease, like any digestive disorders, any problems, indigestion, gas, acidity. So the stomach 36 is the earth, stomach 45 is the sun point, and stomach 44 will be the grand sun point. So one is the sun point, one is the grand sun point. Suppose we are having some unwanted excessive energy. We can use the sun point and we can use the grand sun point. Sun point and the grand sun point will remove the acidity while sucking the unwanted energies. In the logic, we have unwanted energies go Nikal sakte hai, if we said it, suppose if the person is having poor condition of the stomach, then don't set it, either do even method or do tonification. So here we are stimulating stomach 44 and stomach 45 for making the formula complete. Because suppose if the person is having something excessive, some excessive gas, we want to expel it. Some deposition of the stool, we want to expel it. Maybe stool is stuck in the intestine, we want to expel it. So the sun point and the ground sun point always useful if you want to expel something out. condition If the person is weak, then will not do sedation. We'll do even method. So we have taken stomach 44 and the 45. Finally, we are taking spleen 4 and spleen 6. Spleen 4 and the spleen 6, one of the great point. Spleen 4 is the master point of digestion. Master point of digestion. 
And the spleen six is also the very good point who is improving the spleen and also the distal point of the lower part of the of the valley. So the it is working on the intestine and all both together are improving the digestion. So we are adding these two points together. We are having eight extraordinary vessels in the human body. Hamari Shari me art a extraordinary vessel. The one vessel is called Chongmo. Chongmo is connected with the digestion. Spleen 4 is the master point of Chongmo. So we are adding these two points finally. So in this formula, we are adding this point. Stomach 37, stomach 39, stomach 44, 45, spleen 4, spleen 6. This becomes a wonderful formula which can treat each and every digestive problems. So you can use number this. This is the old candidate formula, or you can also use this. This is the new formula. Right? Now, in the next classes, I will discuss with you. There is certain, okay, this is complete. For any patient, you can use this. But the next upcoming classes, I am going to discuss with you how to make the perfect formula for high BP patient, for low BP patient. For the person having higher energy or the lower energy, we have certain rules. And if the person is having normal condition, then you can use all the point bilateral. So you can all point bilateral. You can tonify all the point bilateral or you can do the even method bilateral. Only in the condition, if the person is suffering with a high BP and low BP, there is a little changes in the rules. Point will remain same but there will be rules for the right and left. Some point will be in the right, some point will be left, but there is scientific explanation which will be discussed in the next class. But right now, I would like to tell you, spleen four and spleen six located in the leg. So let's see here. Spleen four and spleen six, and this is the location of spleen 6, right? Two points. Wonderful point combinations. The both points are one of the great points for digestion. So you can apply this formula for everyone other than the person suffering with a high or low BP. Because high BP, low BP formula, we have to do little changes. So you have to attend tomorrow class. So look at my leg and look at the location. So if you look at my leg here, we can see from the yin yang border, spleen meridian is going. So we can feel this bone. As soon as this bone is ending, that is the location of spleen three. We can feel the depression here. So before the bone is spleen two, after the bone is spleen three. Now, if from the spleen three I go one chun, then it is the spleen four. In the spleen four, I can feel the depression. So this is the spleen four, right? Now, from the medial medullus, if I go three chun up on the just border of bone, this is the location of spleen six. So this is the location of spleen six, three chun up from the medial medullus. So in this way, we can use this formula and we can achieve the wonderful results, right? So enough for today. Our remaining part will discuss tomorrow and we'll continue the discussion tomorrow. Thank you so much. Closing the session.